Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving an exponential equation with complex numbers. We have 2 plus 2 root 3i to the power z equals 8i and we're going to be solving for z. Now when you see a problem like an exponential equation like this, let's think about it the real counterpart. Like let's say we have something like 2 to the power x equals 3. What would you do immediately, right? And if you said log both sides, yes, that would make a lot of sense, wouldn't it? You would log both sides. And if you did log both sides with base 2, then definitely you would get the answer right away. X would be log 3 with base 2. Now, if you do the same thing here, let's see what happens. And then we're going to go ahead and look at other alternatives. So we have this Z in the exponent, obviously. And bring it down, you're going to use logarithms in this case. It, it makes more sense to use uh, natural log, right? Which is base e because, you know, be, for obvious reasons. So if you go ahead and log both sides with base e, then it should look like this, right? Log with base e, or I could just write ln, right? For natural log. Some people call it Napier's logarithm. And then this would bring the z to the front, z times ln 2 plus 2 root 3i equals ln 8i and then z would be ln 8i over ln 2 plus 2 root 3i right that's it case closed well wait a minute what is ln 8i well it's ln 8 plus ln i isn't it but what is ln i so we kind of have to talk about the complex logarithm we're going to have to kind of break it down and so on and so forth so let's go ahead and see how we can approach this problem a little differently by using the definition for complex exponentiation. Okay, so I'm going to start with the original problem, 2 plus 2 root 3i to the power z equals, what was the right hand side? I forgot. 8i, okay. I just forgot for a second. All right, so this is 8i and... Now we're going to find z. So let's go ahead and write this as an uh, exponential. So if you have something like w to the z, right, you can basically write it as e to the power z ln w, right? And this is going to be our w in this case. So 2 plus 2 root 3i to the power z can basically be written as e to the power z times ln w, which is 2 plus 2 root 3i. And then on the right hand side, we have 8i, but we also have to write it in polar form, which is e to the power i theta, right? How do you do that though? 8i is going to be on the argon plane, 8 units away from 0, and it's actually going to be on the imaginary axis because it's an imaginary number. Makes sense, right? And it's like I said earlier, 8 units away, this is 8i, and it just makes an angle of pi over 2 radians, that's going to be its argument. So you need two things, z equals r e to the i theta, r is the modulus or the absolute value or the distance, and in this case 8i would be 8 times e to the power i times pi over 2. But that's just one of the values of 8i, because we could basically write it in a more general form, which is 8 times e to the power i times pi over 2 plus 2 pi n. Let me go ahead and write it down here because there's something in that area that prevents me from writing it. So let me see. This doesn't seem to be working. Let's work with this.
So I could write it like this. And now we have the exponentials on both sides. We could go ahead and log both sides or natural log both sides. And hopefully that'll give us the answer. So from here, we can safely say that after we natural log both sides, we're going to get Z times ln 2 plus 2 root 3i. And then that'll be equal to the ln of this product, which is ln 8 plus i times pi over 2 plus 2 pi n. So let me go ahead and write down what I used. So if z is equal to r e to the i theta, then ln z would be ln r plus i theta. Make sense? That's basically how you can write the, uh, the complex logarithm uh, for a complex number. All right. So now from here, we can pretty much, you know, just isolate z, right? By dividing both sides by the ln of this. But the million dollar question is, what is the ln of this complex number? And again, we're going to use the exact same definition that we just used. ln of z would be ln of r, which is the modulus for this. So what is r for this? What's the absolute value of 2 plus 2 root 3i? That will be the square root of 4 plus 12. And yes, that will be a 4. Easy. Now, 4 is the, and what about the theta? Theta, you can look at the tangent theta as root 3. That reminds me 60 degrees or pi over 3 radians. And since this is in the first quadrant, yes, that is exactly what it is. So now I can write this as ln of 4 plus i times theta. Theta would be pi over 3. But of course, I need to add 2 pi k to it. Make sense? So let's go ahead and plug this into our equation right here. And now we're going to see what we can do for z from there. z times the ln of this number. So that's going to give me ln 4 plus i times pi over 3 plus 2 pi k. And then this is multiplied by z. And that's equal to ln 8, right? Plus i times pi over 2 plus 2 pi n. Awesome, right? We're almost there. Bear with me while I isolate z ln 8 plus i times pi over 2 plus 2 pi n divided by ln 4 plus i times pi over 3 plus 2 pi k. Awesome. We're almost there. Now, here's the thing. n and k are integers. I forgot to tell you, but hopefully you guessed it. They are integers, so we're adding multiples of 2 pi. That's basically the period. When you multiply by i, the period is going to be 2 pi n i. Make sense? For the the for the natural log now we have this z but what is that supposed to mean this is a complex number in the form of a plus bi divided by c plus di and obviously you can multiply by the conjugate and to make it a little nice looking and you can kind of turn this into something like x plus yi right well that's a lot of work you don't really need to worry about it too much but i want to show you some specific cases here because they're going to be pretty interesting right okay here's the thing I can go ahead and kind of look at some very special values, like how about n equals k equals 0? That would give us the principal values, would it? Okay. Now, when n and k are both 0, we get the following. z equals ln 8 plus i times pi over 2 plus ln 4 plus i times pi over 3. And again, if you dealt with proportions and ratios before, you probably guessed the same thing. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and simplify these. This is 2 to the 3rd. This is 2 to the 2nd. I'm going to write this as 3 ln 2 plus i times pi over 3 times 3 halves divided by 2 ln 2 plus i times pi over 3. Now, why did I do that pi over 3 times 3 halves thing? Because I want to factor something. Do you see what I see? I'm going to go ahead and factor out at three halves here and obviously when I take out three halves and the motivation behind three halves is that I want these two to be equal at some point so I can take this out make sense and now this gives me two ln two because I need to make up for the three plus i times pi over three divided by two ln two plus i times pi over three hopefully you can see what I'm talking about these two cancel out, leaving us with a very special, super duper special value, which is z equals three halves. Now, there's obviously another way to go about it, 
but let me show you a couple things before we dismiss. Obviously, this is the real solution, but again, it contains a log, so what is that supposed to mean? And then let's go ahead and take a look at the solution from Wolfram Alpha. Come on, you can do better than this. And then the decimal approximation if you evaluate my original number to the power 3 f. So let me tell you what that's all about. So if you go back all the way here and take this number, oops, I just can't even write it and raise it to the power of 3 halves, it becomes 8i. Let me tell you why. If you take the square root of this number, you're going to get something like this. If you square this number and cube this number, you're going to know what I'm talking about. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.